So rule number six is one I'm really, really passionate about. It's a very simple rule, but it's one that gets ignored, sadly, all the time. Rule number six is this. Your patient has the right to stop, to pause, or to refuse any examination at any time for any reason. Here's what I mean. Your client can say, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. You're mid-exam, right? You're, you're doing a well woman exam, say, and you get the speculum placed, and all of a sudden she says, you know what, I'm not comfortable with this anymore. Let's stop this. You stop immediately. She doesn't have to give you a reason. You're done. Also, she could pause. She could say, you know what? I'm okay with doing the exam. I just, I just need a break. I just need to gather my thoughts, take a minute. You stop immediately and you do not resume until she says, Okay, you can start now. Lastly, she can refuse any examination at any time for any reason. And folks, we need to be the champions of this. We providers need to be on the front lines of this, defending and supporting our clients' rights. I don't know if you've checked out Birth Monopoly and, and Kristen Piscucci and the work that she does over there, but if you haven't, you should. Right? She has some great stuff on this very topic. And I highly encourage you to go look at that. All right, so let's imagine a little scenario here, right? You check in to labor and delivery because you're about to have a baby. And they give you a stack of paperwork and it is like thick, man. You're signing papers like crazy, which is really fun, right? Because you're in pain, you're in labor, and they say, well, first sign all of this stuff. But you sign it all, right? And you probably don't read it because you're in a hurry and you sign it all. One of those papers that you signed though, gives the hospital permission to treat you. But what that paper does not do, and I don't care what the hospital says, that paper does not give us permission to do anything against your will. You still have the right to determine what does and does not happen to your own body. Let that sink in for a minute. You don't give up rights over your own body ever, okay? So imagine this scenario. You're a nurse and you're working with an obstetrician who walks into a patient's room and says, okay, I'm gonna do an episiotomy now. The first thing you should do is turn to that patient and say, is that what you want? If she says, I don't want an episiotomy, you now have a responsibility to say, doctor, she doesn't want that. If the doctor decides to pick up the scissors anyway, you slap them out of his hand you are now intervening in an assault, right? If you go out to the parking lot, if I go out to the parking lot after work today and somebody's getting beat up and I step in and intervene, no one's gonna fire me. They're gonna say, wow, good job, you saved somebody, yay. If I intervene in the hospital and step between a doctor who's committing assault and my client who said she does not want whatever is about to happen, sadly the hospital will often fire that person and that's ridiculous, and it's illegal, and we need to stop it. So folks, I'm asking you, doctors, midwives, nurses, whatever it is you do, CNAs, I don't care what you do in the hospital, you have a responsibility to protect the rights of our clients. You do not give up bodily autonomy just because you're in the hospital.